it was all love again I, I brought him down to the crew we were all talking everyone was love brought him down to my studio again in my yard I had a little pop down uh, PC but I had a little section where I used to record and that brought him down there was always spitting recording I was engineering for him making him beats he'll tell me move this move that his dad would specifically drop him to my mum's yard mm. you know to do our music or to go on radio whatever and it was always respect Is that before bath Way before Bath. Way before Way Bath. before the AR team. Big Way up Bath. Paul. Big up Bath. Way mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. the AR team. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, so, so you this is from, for Bath. From, from the ground up. This yeah, is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. real. So when if people ever be like, yo, he's hating. No. No one ain't never hating. And if a man's been in the industry for 15 years, best believe I've known my man way before that. He had some look at this in back and forth thing with Chip, you get me? So I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. You get what I'm saying? But obviously they're both my little brothers. You get they got married at the same time. I'm going to get into everything properly because yeah. I feel everything's due and certain things I'm going to say, but we got married at the same time. Um, so more time, when I fall out with somebody, they're yeah. looking at the size of the situation. Right. I'm looking at the size of the principle. Throwing a few rocks or what have you, you know? Mm. But again, for myself, that was a good old days. Never had nothing. Yeah. Up, never had nothing poverty literally sharing toys but you know what i think he had a human eye he, what, what do they call that like mental you? breakdown <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call it Possibly. yeah yeah because basically he did, he just, just had a mental breakdown he went, he went with my dealings with liquor bro chip because mm. i got a verse of him mm. Mm. invisible tears yeah, i got a, i got a chorus cold Oh. Come on. Cold to you. Cold. If you're a friend, you're with together each other. Oh, you're together all the time. You're yeah. close. You know, at the same time, it's you can you can help each other out. And yeah, just growing up in Tottenham, it was young, it was fun. South Tottenham, them times, the early 90s was just all the kids was just out. It's like man's thing. Remember, above, I've done a talking the hardest. <laughs> like, yeah. I've done my own talking the hardest in a heavy way. You know? mm. In a mad way, but yeah. obviously no one cared. My For anyone case. that does look yeah. up to Rich in any form of way, whether it be music, mm-hmm. whether it be business, from where we're from, again, done that's well. So because that's like one of the biggest like wishes for most parents for their kids is so that they can just have a childhood. You know that in it? Because a lot of kids' childhoods are robbed because of certain things that go on. Late nineties, we moved to Northumberland. And then okay. that's the first time where we're growing now, isn't it? It's us now, so we're identifying with the area, mm. friends, activities, what we're trying to do and all the rest of it. Good days. Sometimes, that's what I'm saying, like, man go to jail and like, a man think it's a bad thing, but a lot of the time it's God so, yeah. just allowing you yeah. to million know percent. yourself yeah. again. But there was a group called ATG at the time where there were older guys that were doing rap in the hood, doing some community type work, you mm. know? For their age on some type of you know commons type vibe like preaching a good word yeah. and type rap conscious rap i'm a firstborn mm. a lot of my closest friends are firstborns as well do you understand so that's it yeah you know like you always feel like you're the one that has to be responsible this that and that you never you always get it the hardest being the first person like that's the normally the name that your parent the first name they call is normally the eldest one do you know what i mean maybe being the middle child i've always been that person like so always want to explore something. Yeah. Always want to get into things, you know. Why for that? Oh, fire! <laughs> <laughs> Don't want be always wanting to explore something. <laughs> Me, Double S, Cipher, Mice, Lady T, Gat. The list goes on. It was like a little so solid at that time. Beer of us. Sometimes you have to kind of understand where your parents came through their life, why they are the way they are, and then you'll more understand like their traits. Do you know what I mean? Even down to performing at Tottenham Carnival for us at the time was a big, big, big thing. Big. We're looking yeah. at it like, what? Tottenham Carnival? Yeah. Mad. These times, <laughs> respectfully. The older lot was on the road. You guys yeah. <coughs> was respectfully killing it. You get people that come out with a lot of good intentions. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So just how it's just about putting them into practice growing up and being the man i am today i kind of look at it and i feel like right if i could ask my dad certain things or tell him how you could have changed in any way it would have been you should have been more harder on me like i'm really close with my grandma and granddad like literally they're like my role models but even now when you have little conversations you know you sit down and talk to them it's like still peeling after all these years yeah, still yeah. peeling back the layers but on a serious note what what i didn't like was just the fact that he was chatting certain people to me like about mm. man I reckon Chip can have you, man. Never. God bless you. <laughs> like, I'm a strong believer in using your blessing to bless others. A million percent. I do believe that everybody has like a role, even mm-hmm. if they don't want to accept it. Some mm-hmm. people are the heavy lifters. I birth Chip. Facts. <laughs> Respectfully. I birth Chip. <laughs> I'm not Big me, you know. 
Big me. Them style there. You got Solomon though. You're fancy, yeah. But big, but big, big, big him up though. I'm taking back all apologies. Queen's back here. <laughs> every sorry last episode was mental. You get what I'm saying? Every sorry was mental. <laughs>